Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were escaping again from the Imperial Dungeons. Let's continue, shall we? We managed to regroup. At least, well, we found Ica. Fina is still missing. Uh, Ica has been rescued from a very unfortunate situation. Ramirez. Ramirez, why? Why are you fighting for the Valians? What about our orders? What about the elders? Lord Ramirez, it's an emergency. One of our cannons exploded and the entire deck is on fire, but no enemy shells hit that area. Find out the cause of the fire and report back to me. In the meantime, stop firing and set the fortress in defensive mode. There are only two or three ships attacking. Their effect on the wall will be minimal. Yes, sir. I fight for Lord Galician. That's all you need to know. Ramirez, hmm, what is going on exactly? Well, we don't know yet, but all in time, I'm sure. Let's keep going. Huh? I can hear someone talking to the other side of this door. Hmm, interesting. Everyone, remain calm. The Grand Fortress isn't about to crumble under the firepower of a few ships. Anyone who deserts his post will have to deal with me, personally. Yes, Admiral Ramrez. I will go investigate the gate, the cause of the explosion. Two of you stay here and guard the girl. The rest of you, follow me. Yes. I <laughs> think they've got little handles on the back of their helmets. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's quite funny. That would be annoying, banging against the back of your head all day. Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing Fina is just up here. Right, let's put these two bodies in bags and keep going. Shouldn't be too hard with us uh, three. God, you know, no matter how many times you hear this music, it just never gets old. It's consistently good. Yeah, these guys aren't nothing. Is that all you've got, dude? Seriously. Alright, let's finish them off. Ooh. He's got something a little bit juicy up his sleeve. That's okay, we can take it. Nice. Put him down, Gilda. That was easy. Right, decent amount of money. Okay, cool. Let's continue. You found the harbor key in the pocket of the Valuant soldier. Well, good. And there she is. Fina. We came to get you out of here. Face. We got here as soon as we found out where you were. Are you okay? Yes, Thank I am. Very much. Thank you. It's strange. The first time you rescued me from the train, I was really surprised to see you. But this time, I knew you'd come for me. I knew you'd find me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fina. After all we've been through together. I swear on my oath as a brew, a brew, fuck's sake, a blue rogue that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. I know. Oh. Ah, good one, Vase. I didn't know you were so smooth with the ladies. Getting jealous, Ika? I bet you wish Vase would stay stuff <laughs> like that to you. I don't need to hear him say those things. 
I know he would do the same for me. Whenever I'm in trouble, I have faith that Vase will always be there to save me. He already saved me once today. Ah, uh, good point. Can we save the mushy stuff for later? We just broke out of prison and we're still in Valua. Alright, but how exactly are we going to get out of here? Well, since we're in the Grand Fortress, there should be Valua and ships docked all over the place. We can borrow one of those. Now you're talking. We should be able to reach the docks from the bottom floors of the fortress. We just have to backtrack a little, but we should be okay. So, we'll take the elevator back down and look for a ship. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that would be quite nice. That would fit us quite nicely. The little Jack, obviously, has long since been dusted. Uh, and we need to... Put Fina's clothes back on, because... Uh, <clears throat> She doesn't have any clothes on either. Uh, light coat. Hmm. The light coat actually is pretty good, but the maiden's armor does give her a boost to magic as well. Uh, all right. Oh, also, I don't think she has an accessory. You know, let's give you an accessory. Let's see if we can give you something that will um, increase your magic. I don't think that we got the... Uh, protects against stone? I mean, yeah, okay. Protects against weak. Protects against sleep. That's quite nice, but it's not much. Oh, that is a plus 16 to magic. Hmm. <sighs> Recover spirit during battle. I think that just means it charges your spirit gauge faster. Um, it doesn't actually give her any other bonus, but it does give a juicy bonus to um, her magic, so we'll go for that. Huh, good job, guys. Looks like my crew is causing quite a commotion. Should be enough for us to sneak through. Well, let's hope so, Gilda. I mean, your boys certainly are doing some damage out there. He doesn't have any women on his uh, crew. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be a woman on his crew either, let's be fair. I do have a feeling. I don't think. Ah, right, great, this door's locked. It doesn't look like there's a keyhole. Probably leads towards the centre of the fortress. I don't know about you, but I'd rather get out of here than go exploring. Let's go. Yeah, we can't go through that door, even if we wanted to. But that's okay. Now, let's go. Now, like I said, there's only two chests in this area. And I think they're pretty close to each other. I think. Right. Ah, uh, I guess. Oh, God, look at this now. There's a storm of brewing. Okay. Let's give it a save. Just because. Alright. I don't know how many uh, episodes this LP is going to be. I was trying to... Well, we were talking about it in the Discord the other day. I reckon it's going to be somewhere around the 60 mark. Possibly 70. That is a pure guess, by the way. Right, anyway. Let's head down. God, this game looks so good on the emulator. What's going on? Hey, look. Ah. Guns are... The fortress is rotating. Now's our chance. We should find a ship and get out of here. Didn't they say it takes like 30 minutes or something to rotate? I can't remember now. Cool, so we just got to steal ourselves a ship. Sounds good to me. Hey, we used the harbour key. Excellent. I mean, whatever the Valuans have packed away, it's definitely going to be a little bit better than the little jack. Right, so there's a chest there. 
Let's go. Now, there are searchlights here. Uh, I mean, if you get caught in one of the searchlights, it's not too bad. All that happens is you go into a random encounter. Most of those random encounters are just full of um, uh, those robots that we fought earlier, so it's not that bad. Anyway, there's our Moonberry. Oop. Almost. I mean, they're kind of not worth fighting, either. And there we go. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we were just going to miss that. But like I say, it doesn't matter. We just got these bastards to deal with, which is fine. We're just going to wail on them. Oh, I could have used Ica's ability, actually. Cool allies. Yeah, this is the one of the biggest problems with these guys is these fights can go on for quite a while because they continuously call in reinforcements, but hopefully they're just gonna miss. Now we've actually done most of this now. At least yep, cool allies. Brought in another destroyer. Because he's a git. Ah, emergency. Yeah, emergency makes all of them explode and calls in a Cantar, which, or Cantor, which is basically the same as the uh, creature from the beginning, the Battle Beast, so it's not that bad. Right. Ah. Uh, guess we can go for a Lombarda burst. Now we've still got 19 left, so let's let's get the blessing going. Cause that will give all of us regeneration, which you know should keep us going. Now, how does this do against it? Doesn't really do that much, actually. Thunder of Fury, yeah. So it's doing exactly the same. Okay. Good to know. Uh, let's just go for attacks. Attack. What do you have? Uh, I can't quite do Lunar Light. That's unfortunate. Alright. Oh, Gilda doesn't have any special moves, does he? Of course he doesn't. Oh well. Still, shouldn't take us too long to make short work of this thing. Get him! That's not too bad. I wonder how much XP we're going to get from this, actually. Hey, we put him to sleep. Not bad. Probably could have stoned him as well, to be fair. Right. Well, attack, attack. And because we have enough points, let's just regen everybody. This is her ultimate move. Basically, uh, regenerates everybody, cures all status effects, even brings everybody back from the dead, and restores them to full health. It's a really good spell. When you need it, you need it. Also, the actual uh, casting animation is pretty cool too. Here go. Now, it doesn't buff you, but it makes you as healthy as can be. Ah, uh, son of a... Right, that's the battle beast down. Now, is that actually worth getting? Out of curiosity. Eh. I mean, you can get a bad amount of XP from it, but it's not really worth it. I would say. Oof, I would say. All right, let's go. And there is the last chest here, but. This chest is guarded by one of our old friends. Yep. Hello, you. Should we just... Let's just light him up with some of that. Everybody else pile on. Yeah, he's got a good amount of health, unfortunately. That's okay. 
We're more than uh, able to take this guy out. I still maintain that we're pretty overpowered for this area. Uh, let's get Cutler's Fury going again. I should look up what he's weak to, really, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's get this going. Now remember, every time you kill one of these guys, you... Ooh, yes, area effect. Every time you kill these guys, you do get something pretty good. Let's go for another round of standard attacks. Ah, oh, damn it. We killed him, but I was hoping we could get um, the blessing off again. Never mind. So you get nearly 4,000 gold. You get a decent amount of XP. And... Magna Seed. But you also get an unholy dagger, which we can sell. As far as I as far as I remember, I think that's all you do with the unholy dagger. I think it's just sell fodder. Let's heal everybody up as well. We did take a little bit of damage there. Quite a little bit of damage actually. Right, let's have a look. Items. Unholy dagger. Uh Is everybody else armoured? Might have to have a look at that in a minute. Uh, nope. Where is it? Might be here. Unholy dagger. There we go. Valuable treasure. Yeah, so it's just cell fodder. Okay. Cool. Everybody else. Right, everybody else is armoured, yeah. Okay, for some reason. Just, ooh dear. Just the girls were uh, naked, which... Okay. It's almost as if a load of guys made this game. Actually, not true. This uh, The development team of this game was um, quite famous in the fact that it was mostly female team. Which, hey... Fair play. Right. Let's drop a save. And it's time to move on. Pretty sure. The trouble is getting out of this area is a bit of a boss rush from what I can remember. Ah, yes. A tank. Yeah, this thing is nasty. It's, ma it's most powerful attack does a one and a half thousand damage, and it's area effect. So you want to try and keep everybody above that number. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can. We can go for a a nasty attack on it. You need to throw pretty much everything you have at it. Yeah, he's a bit of a bastard. Here goes. Over there. Hopefully, we should just about be able to take this thing out. Now, oh, it's such a cool design, actually. Wait, we put the tank to sleep. We put the... Okay. Right, let's just charge up some spirit. Oh, nice. Critical. I'll take that. We need to make sure that nobody falls below 1.5k health. Ooh, counterattack, even though it was asleep. That's unfortunate. Actually, yep, it's asleep again. Sweet. I don't know how long sleep lasts. Uh, right, we've got some a good amount of XP now. Let's just attack. Uh, you know what? No, he's, I think he's a red element. I'm not sure what the opposite of red is, to be honest. So, we'll just attack as normal. Now, you... I want you... Give us a bit of regen. That'll help. Regen always helps. I mean, it's only 200 per turn, but 200 is 200. Here yeah. 
We're actually doing a fairly decent amount of damage to this thing. Really cool design, though. Looks a little bit like something out of Warhammer. Nice. So, what are we up to now? 17. Um, attack Ica. Just for shits and giggles. What does your Lombarda Burst do against it? Everybody else just attack as normal. Almost down to half health. Those guns, that's cool. Alright, let's see what this does. Let's see if it confirms our suspicions. Yeah, 220. So it is a fire based enemy. I guess what we could try. Let's try going blue. See if that works. Because blue is wind and water. Is that. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Let's see. See if on average that's doing more damage. Uh, not much of a difference, I don't think. Mm, about the same. Okay, put him back to sleep. At least that spell is healing everybody quite nicely. Alright then, let's just uh, get the big guns out. No point. Uh, I guess... Nah, if we're going to use magic, we might as well use Fina. Um, just attack. Now you. Let's see. Now she does have... No, nope, I'm thinking of magic. If we go to magic, yeah, attorneys can cause instant death to all enemies on the screen. Um, yeah, and can kill one enemy instantly. So these attacks, like as far as I can remember, if they don't, if an enemy is immune to them, they should still do a decent amount of damage. I think it depends. It's been a while since I've read up on that. So if this cannot kill him instantly, it should do a lot of damage. Or just miss and not work at all. Yeah, either or. Now being a machine, I wonder if he's weak to lightning based attacks. That might make sense. And that regeneration, you see, it is keeping us healthy. Right, attack, uh, attack. Now you, magic. What have we got here? Massive bolt of electricity hits all enemies, uh, causing major damage. Right, let's give that a go. Let's see how much damage that does. So it's possible this thing is weak to yellow, maybe. Certainly hasn't put up that much of a fight, has it? Give me strength. Uh, I mean, it did a reasonable amount of damage. Done more damage than pretty much anything else so far. Let's try switching everybody up. Um, and I guess, yeah, go with some more magic. Go for another, go for another one of those, sure. There we go. No, it's about the same. I don't think it's, maybe this, uh, isn't an elemental enemy. I don't know if every enemy is elemental. I'm not sure. But it's dead now. Yeah, we basically destroyed that thing pretty quickly. 
Nice amount of gold. Very nice amount of XP. Hey. Vilnos. Very nice. And Rizlum crystals. We'll take them. Oh no, the alarm. This isn't good. In a few seconds, this place is going to be crawling with guards. Quick, get on the lift. Gallant voice. Who's that? Someone's telling us to get on that thing. I can't see who it is, Vase. What should we do? Ooh, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure we say, let's take our chances and hop on. Yep. If we stand around here, we're going to get caught anyway. We should take the lift. That's true. Looks like it's our only option. Alright, let's go. Mysterious galleon voice, eh? Hmm. Enrique. So, your vase, huh? I'm Enrique. Enrique? You're the Prince of Valua. You're the Prince? <laughs> yes, I am. After you escaped from yourselves, I figured you'd head for the docks and try and steal a ship. Please, follow me. Oh, right, what's going on? Why is the prince helping us? I have no idea, but we should probably follow him. <clears throat> well, I mean, he's let us off as much as possible. Maybe he's just about to give us a ship. What the? Oh, this looks like a ship. You've probably already figured out that we're on the bridge of a ship. Say hello to the Delphinus, the newest member of the Armada. This is my personal flagship. Yeah, we don't just get any ship. We get the most powerful ship in the Valiant Navy. The brand new state-of-the-art beastie boy. This ship is freaking sweet. I also think it's one of the best design ships in the game. It's gorgeous. It is heavily armoured and can still match the top speed of our cruisers and it is equipped with the weaponry of a heavy battleship. It's amazing. This ship is a prototype. Soon we will be beginning a whole we will be building a whole fleet of Delphinus class ships. Valuer plans to use these ships to take over the world. That's bad. With a whole fleet of ships like this, Valio would easily be able to take over the world, especially since Nasrad has fallen. So, your royalness, there's still one thing that I can't figure out. Why would you help us escape, then take us to the bridge of your flagship? You've gone through a lot of trouble just to show off. Yeah, Guild has a good point. I... I want you to take this ship. And I want you to take me with it. <gasps> what? What? Are, are you serious? Valua has been taking over other countries by force, destroying their lands and murdering the innocent. As prince of the Value and Empire, all of this innocent blood spilled by the Amada is on my hands. I've done all I can to convince the Empress and uh, Gaussian that what Valua is doing is wrong, but I cannot convince them to change their ways. Everything I have tried has failed. I am powerless to stop them. My only chance for redemption is to aid you. Please take me with you. I'll even go with you as a hostage. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, I can't remember what we say here. Um, I'm. Oof. I think it's. Of course, you can come with us. I mean, he's giving us a ship. First rate ship of the line, the flagship, the most powerful ship in this particular universe, so 
Sure. Uh -huh. Of course you can come with us, but there is a problem. The blue rogues don't take hostages. If you want to sail with us, you must do so as a blue rogue. And everybody's happy again. Yay! Thank you. I will do my part as a member of your crew. Hey. You know, I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Vase of the Blue Rogues. I. It is an honor to be a member of your crew, Vase. Uh. <laughs> um, I never would have thought that I'd be riding in the same ship as Valyrian, let alone the Prince of Valyrian. But the crystals are still in the hands of the Valians. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah, you're right. Well, technically you're right. What? I have the crystals. I stole them before I came to the docks to find you. I was going to destroy them. Probably the best idea. But perhaps it would be best if I return them to you. Please take them. Wow, Enrique, you've done so much for us already. Thank you. Huh. You act an awful lot like an air pirate for a prince. Alright, start the engines. Let's take the Delphinus and get out of here. Yeah, this ship is basically unmatched, which is cool. You go from being a bit of an underdog to having like the most powerful ship. It's pretty satisfying. You have uh, reacquired. <laughs> I like that. You have reacquired the red moon crystal and the green moon crystal. Excellent. Let's go. Delphinus, full speed ahead. And this also opens up a new side quest. We have to find ourselves a crew. Now, at the front of the ship is a terrifying weapon. If you thought the harpoon cannon was cool, oof. <laughs> that thing was a toothpick compared to what this is packing. Such a cool ship. off the entrance. I won't worry too much about the fortress. The spot where I blew the cannon should be weak. And if this ship's got the firepower that the prince said, we should be able to blast our way out. Well, here goes. And our first ship combat in the new ship. Yep. Base. Just to let you know, the Delphinus is equipped with Valua's newest, most powerful weapon. It's called the Moonstone Cannon. Until recently, it was only an experimental weapon under development by Lord D. Loco. He used data collected from the red and green Geigers to develop it. He says that this cannon's power rivals the immense power of the Gigas themselves. But the manufacturing cost of this cannon is so immense that this is the only ship in the entire armada equipped with one. Wow! That means this ship is as powerful as the Gigas, then. I can't believe it. Well then, Vase, let's give her a test run, shall we? Use the S cannon command, and we'll be good to go. All right. S cannon. I oh, need 20 spirit points. Of course we do. Well, I guess we'll use some gear grease. Let's get these new gears greased up, shall we? Use a couple of loads of that. And we shall guard and guard. Oh, I love this ship. 
looks really futuristic as well compared to uh, the other ships. Now, hold on to your teeth. We're about to get rattled. Um, there's a reason I was saving all those captain stripes and not applying them. Look how much health it has compared to the little jack. Yeah, there's a reason we were saving all of those. Come on. We were saving all of those upgrades to apply to this ship. Each one of those stripes will add, I think it's a permanent 1,000 health onto the ship. And I can't remember how many we have, but it's, a, it's we've got a few. Right, here we go. So let's pop a Dulux kit and fire our primary weapon. And guard and guard again. Now let's see what this uh, Moonstone Cannon can do. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> well, that was easy. Wow, we even got 3,000 gold from that. We got some gear grease. Lovely. Tore a hole straight through. Like a knife through butter. We did it. We did? I can't believe it. We just broke through the Grand Fortress. You sure know how to break in a new ship. Now we can finally continue our search for the other moon crystals. Well, Valua, it looks like this is goodbye. For now. Yeah, that's going to leave them pretty angry. But they don't have anything to match our ship, so... Those little toys those other pirates have. We did it. We escaped from the Grand Fortress. Twice. Yep. And I'm happy we're all together again. Some of us are happier than others. <laughs> oh, Gilda. I'm so happy. I n I'll never let you go. Out of one prison <laughs> into the next. Oh, it's not so bad. Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong, Gilda? You guys make a cute couple. I'm very happy for you, Clara. Oh, come on, Gilda. She's... Give her a chance. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Fina. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. I'm really starting to miss that jail cell in Valua. Well, since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Even though this is my ship, I am not an experienced sailor. I would feel more comfortable with somebody else at the helm. That's pretty good of him. I know who, to, who I'd cast my vote for. Vaze, you're the best man for the job. <laughs> I like the surprise in his face. He's just like... <gasps> like, well, it's pretty obvious. I'd agree with Ica. I'd feel most comfortable with you as our captain. I know that I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you'd make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, Vase, and a good leader. I think you'd make a great captain. Well, it seems unanimous. Vase, will you accept responsibilities of being captain of the Delphinius? 
<sighs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I won't let you down. That's what I wanted to hear. Besides, wasn't it your dream to be the captain of your own ship someday? Oh yeah, the Delphinius is going to need a new flag. You're right, Aika. Every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. Why don't we start working on one now? The Delphinius should have a flag as soon as possible. You're right. I think Vase, Aika and Fina should get together and design our new flag. Being the Prince of Valua, I don't think it's my place to design an air pirate flag. But I can judge any ideas you have. What? You, you want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It'll be fun. Just give it a try. Hey, Vase. I want to take a look around the Delphinius. I think we all should. We should split up and check out the ship. If something's wrong with it, it's better to find it now rather than in the heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everybody. Meet me back at the bridge when you're done. Yeah, I remember the first time I found out that we got this ship. It was so freaking cool, man. I was hyped. Anyway, there is some stuff to find in here. A moonberry. And I think there's a charm. What's this? Oh, this isn't a charm. Our first crew member. Yeah, <laughs> long time no see, Vase. Alright, Sonic, settle down. Marco, what are you doing here? I heard that the prince's ship was finished and was being prepared for departure. So I snuck on board and was planning on escaping Valga in it. Well, I heard that the prince was a really nice guy, so I figured he wouldn't kill me for trying to escape. Well, at least not right away. But I never would have thought you, of all people, would get your hands on this ship. At least I don't have to go looking for you. I'm going to travel along with you, whether you like it or not. But don't worry, I'll stay out of your way, okay? Huh, <laughs> you're pretty pushy there, kid. Yeah, why not? I'll make you my first crew member. Marco has joined your crew as a sailor. Yeah, that's, that's the new thing. We now have to put together our crew. Uh, it's optional. It's completely optional as far as I can remember. Um, oh, nice. But the more crew, the more powerful the ship gets. And they all add uh, different things. It's the emblem of the Valiant Royal Family. Yeah, I think it's time to cover it up with the flag of the Blue Rogues. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to have to leave it there because we're on 43 bloody minutes. That was a long one. Jeez. But it was fun. I've enjoyed this so much. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And when we come back, well, we're going to get acquainted with our new ship. Till then, thanks for watching.